acquiring banks for VAV now stand at about 14, so it's just an extra two. But it, we believe that we believe those 14. I'll get to them. We believe those 14 cover probably 70% of the entire banking ecosystem. So we've got KCB, NIC, DTB, uh, um, some of the tier three banks, Credit Bank, um, and a few others. And then we share the list. It's quite a few, and we think that gives us a good spread in terms of acquiring for that. In this market, we're not seeing banks focus on issuing of valve. We're seeing more non banks uh, issuing of valve. So you'll find the two rivers more. Uh, we're issuing cards for two rivers, uh, more, which I'll actually show you just now. So, which is, is a non banking play, but the customer gets to earn loyalty points when they shop at two rivers. You also get to load the money with cash. They can withdraw at all our ATM network points. Uh, and we see that being a bigger play. In a, in, a, in a wider ecosystem as opposed to banks actually issuing cards. The target for this year, I'll tell you what our target for this year is, is 250,000 physical cards and another 500,000 virtual cards. As we mentioned on the previous launch, we launched the VAV uh, proposition as a digital token. So we see more issuance of uh, VAV as a token as opposed to to actual physical cards and issues. So web acquiring uh -huh. is what you and mean. Yes. What is the process and so how many are these so far? So we, we're, trying, we're, we're looking at achieving a DIY process for that. Uh, it's already live for us. Um, customers can send in requests to us to set, set them up on the gateway so they start accepting online transactions. Um, we see that being obviously a contributing factor to online transactions in this market. Whether or not it's the slingshot is another debate. Because um, payments happen everywhere. I think right now some of the things we're looking at are merchant payments. A focus, a very key focus on merchant payments. Um, because there's some new players who want to launch their own things as well. So it's a combination of things. There's merchant payments, web online, there's different form factors. I think you'll see stickers on the, on, the, on the mobile phone being able to pay, pay using a QR code, pay using a wristband. So those forms is, is what we'll keep investing in. Um, and hopefully get us to an issuance of the 250 uh, valve cards and the 500,000 virtual cards. We've been in financial technology now for 15 years. And um, for us, you know, I think with, with the 60 financial institutions, we've been able to build trust that this is a strong proposition when you're looking for a localized scheme. And that always wins the, the, the debate whether it should be a, a local scheme or international scheme. So, so we see that driving growth. And also, like I mentioned, the new ecosystems. And we've got now the biggest mall industry. So now there's four or five other malls who want to do their own cards. Uh, we've got a few supermarkets looking at putting up their own cards. And we see those cards actually being valve cards.